This whole visit is about a whole host of views, and uh, we've been presenting you with them right here on NDTV Profit. Time to welcome in Sanjay Puri, President of the Alliance for U.S.-India Business um, and Chairman of the U.S.-India Political Action Committee. Sanjay, afternoon. Thanks for making the time to be on Profit. Um, you know, a lot of our discussion in Mindspace so far has been focused on some of the big CEOs who are accompanying President Obama. But they'll do business in India regardless of a presidential visit. Uh, you know, what, uh, to your mind, is a must-focus area on this trip? Well, you know, if you really want to grow the business on a bilateral basis, you need to get the SME sector in the U.S. as well as in India involved. And the SME sector does basically 100% of the job creation in the U.S. So, you know, it would be interesting to see of the 200, 250 CEOs, how many of them are small businesses from Ohio, West Virginia, Tennessee, the heartland of the United States, which really is hurting. So it would be interesting to see what President Obama is bringing in, which SMEs are here also from India are partnered up in this beautiful summit in Taj and Trident, etc. Right. Uh, given that particular con context, I mean, compare this to, let's say, the kind of situation you have with uh, the, uh, the economic uh, trade between China and the United States. Uh, in that particular comparison, would you say that, again, India really lacks when it comes to SMEs getting involved on this front? I think both countries lack. I wouldn't say India only lacks because uh, we bring delegations from uh, United States and our focus has been always to bring companies here. And these are companies that are resistant to going beyond Ohio to California, leave alone coming to India. So there is an effort that needs to be done. So if government intervention, which is what you know, President Obama today is going to be the chief marketing officer of the United States, then he should be marketing to those companies and bringing them here today. Is there a kind of mismatch between some of the issues that U.S. business wants to focus on and some of the issues that Indian business wants to focus on? Because I can tell you, we've had a whole range of conversations. The two speaks are fairly um, divided, if I can say that. Well, you know, obviously, uh, if you listen to the Indian press and uh, you listen to Indian companies, it's the issue of you know uh, outsourcing or movement of people, which is really driving a lot of the attention. It's use of dual-use technology. And I think uh, from the U.S. side, they're really talking about big ticket items, open up retail so our big guys, Macy's, et cetera, can come in, open up uh, you know insurance or big insurance companies can come in. And in the big, sp uh, you know, specter, I don't know how much of that is going to be uh, uh, make a difference because it seems like both the sides are talking past each other, really not getting to the crux of the issue is how do we really get this people to people, small business? And I guess people? that's easier when there is small business to small business. But uh, Sanjay, can you pinpoint areas uh, which are of interest to small American companies in the context of the Indian market? Well, take uh, uh, water sanitation, wastewater. In, in India, it's a Tremendous uh, problem. I mean, United States is the leader in wastewater technology, basically driven by small, medium-sized companies. You know, scientists who have come up with uh, great innovation. I think India could benefit. United States could benefit. You talk about healthcare. You talk about medical devices. Again, innovation being led by scientists from Mayo Clinic and others. Bring those folks in, solve India's core problems, and bring American jobs what, that President Obama is talking about. So it has to be a win-win. Right now, I think they're talking about what can we do. Indians are saying we want to protect our small Kiryana stores, etc. So it seems like they're talking past each other. Fair point that you've made, uh, Sanjay. Thanks very much for joining Thank us you. this morning. Uh, well, this afternoon. It's been a pretty busy uh, afternoon so far. But some of the issues that you were talking about, they're being reiterated uh, um, in this conversation between our colleague Ira Vigil and Gary Locke, Secretary of Commerce for the United States. Uh,